So what I will add to this conversation is that uh, one of the things that's driving the driving, you know, why is it that we're having these conversations now as opposed to 10 years ago when these same problems existed, is really what I mentioned at the top of my presentation. We live in a modern communication era. All, all this information is much more readily available now. The internet is ubiquitous. Uh, everyone can get what they want on their smartphones. Uh, so uh, it's, it's not only now um, um, possible to get this information, which uh, helps make it happen, but also the risks of not doing it have increasingly become untenable. Uh, you know, when, I don't, how many of you remember the, the Bhopal gas tragedy in, back in India? I use this example all the time. I, uh, uh, all of you just dated yourselves. <laughs> I, I was actually living in India at the time that happened, back in the mid-80s. Uh, and it took my family in the States three days to find out about it. I got this frantic phone call. My God, are you all right? I'm like, it's okay, I'm in Delhi. That's Bhopal, look at a map, I'm fine. Um, today, if that were to happen, we would know about it while it was happening. You know, while it was happening, literally. So there's no way to hide. There's no time to spin. There's no time to react. You have to be proactive in managing your supply chains. And that's why uh, all of these conversations are now being had, even though the problems underlying them, the issues underlying them, they're not new. But the ability to talk about them, the ability to get information about them, and the negative consequences of not doing so are new and exacerbated by the wonderful thing called the interweb, <laughs> whatever that thing is.